This video shows how to programmatically start up a server, push some data into an in-memory cube, and then stop the server to save costs. When I hit the play button, the script I wrote check if my environment is up, and if it's not, it just starts it. So this one was stopped, and now it's automatically starting. It takes usually a few couple seconds, up to minutes, and then when it's started, I have a little wait time just to let the whole applications get together. So I can now see from my console that the environment and all my servers are running. And then when the wait time is over, the script is going to start pushing some data. In the meanwhile, I can start logging in, go to my project, and here you see previous executions of my, of my, my script. So then when it's ready, it creates a cube, give it a name with the current date time. Here is my new cube. I can open up the dashboard I've created and replace the previous execution with the new cube. And then, as you can see, the data is streamed in batch of 30 rows every second. And then my dashboard is auto-refreshing to show this data that is streamed in real time in my in-memory cube. When the push streaming is over, the application records that it's finished and stops the environment by triggering a new cloud API. And so you see here the environment is stopping, usually takes a few minutes as well, then it gets pending and then it's stopped. And in that way I can save cost and only start up my environment for the time and processing that I need. 